Smoky Mountain Blessed. Those of you who aren't familiar with storyteller Donnie and his paintings, you may still have seen his sibling channel, Smoky Mountain Blessed, formerly Joy Blessed Life. If you've always wanted to visit Smoky Mountain towns like Gatlinburg or maybe even piddle around Pigeon Forge, Smoky Mountain Blessed will make you want to go for Good sure. Sam, a little closer, you're leaning way too far over. There you go, slow, easy. Oh, that's all right. Just, um, <laughs> don't take many golf lessons from Donnie. <laughs> Want to see the places in the Smokies that the locals see? Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg do draw lots of cool car shows, and Smoky Mountain Blessed is right there to bring them to us here in YouTube land. <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> there we go. The old-fashioned ones with that big old boat of fiberglass over an old VW frame. They also like to peep in on their neighbors. They're very nice neighbors. <laughs> but Smoky Mountain Bless doesn't always stay in the Smokies. With a little uh, cherry and a uh, whipped cream on it. Brownies drizzled with chocolate syrup and some confection sugar. I'm not sure what it is. Could have blueberries or something in it. Wherever they go, you can bet that if they travel, they'll take YouTube along on the adventure. So if you're thinking of walking the parkway or hanging out in a cabin hideaway, if you're doing it in the Smokies, Smoky Mountain Blessed is going to find you. Because I find <laughs> you. <laughs> no, not in that creepy way. But they're out there. <laughs> Check them out. Cowboy Seabop. That's a knife. Hello, all you YouTubers. Thanks for tuning in. Take a quick walk with me outside. You get better light. I wouldn't walk out there with him if I were you. <laughs> you ever see the movie Edward Scissorhands? Same thing. Sort of. I mean, there's no Johnny Depp. And the blades aren't attached to his hands. Okay, he's nothing like Edward Scissorhands. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Cowboy Seabop does really cool salutes to famous blades. Just like a lot of you guys, he's been invited into your homes on the tube. You know, for what, four or five decades. <laughs> First got started, 1982. Actually, I have bought a couple of these knives quite a few times. I bought it, sold it, bought it, broke it, bought, bought it, it, sold it, bought it, broke it. Y'all better get that song copyrighted before he does. I haven't seen this in quite a while. <laughs> I thought I lost it. Nope, I found it. This is number two. Numbered as well. 1957 out of 9,300. I don't know, I can't remember. It's no secret that Cowboy Seabop so, loves I knives. I wanted something that was going to be a jack of all trades. Chops like a hatchet. Stabs like a dagger, cuts like a kitchen knife. Does he collect them because of his love of preserving history? Or is it something more sinister? These blades and handles are precision art. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> I mean, this is a gorgeous knife. And it has the, the black and white spacers. It's got the brass guard. The recurring theme on Cowboy Seabop is that there truly is a knife out there for everyone. Many increase in value through the years. Wouldn't it be cool to see a knife scroll across a Barrett Jackson screen and then you can say, I saw that knife on the channel's Cowboy Seabop. Check it out. Tiny 12 by 12 cottage garden. Any idea what this channel's about? <laughs> Let's find out. Making Hugo culture style 
raised beds in milk crates. You road and break down, but as you guys know, leaves make black gold, um, which is basically broken down leaf material, has so much nitrogen and potassium and carbon. And That is currently this channel's most popular and it's, a it's very Jess, popular video. It's Jess, and welcome video. back to my tiny 12 by 12. Today is the perfect example of an epic freaking fail, but it's a lesson learned and something you should know. Small space container garden ideas abound on tiny 12 by 12 cottage I'm garden. I the bricks. I put these here about two weeks ago to soften the soil. I added some rabbit manure, some old snapdragons. I covered the dirt up. It's dirt and sand. And I'm hoping that the beans that I'm adding to the cucumbers will add the nitrogen. Think you can't grow much in a community garden? What about inexpensive seeds and plants? Do they actually work in getting a harvest? And she gives a lot of motivation and information to encourage everyone watching that they too can grow in a tiny 12 by 12 cottage garden. Check it out. If you're doing it in the Smokies, they're probably doing it too. Just a huge blade collection. And the community garden motivation. Are these your people?